I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor, and we have breaking news. Alright, so this is the situation we have right here. This is Tropical Storm Estelle. It is currently rapidly intensifying as we speak. We have the latest from the, uh, from, uh, from the public advisory from the NHC. At 10 a.m., it is, uh, it is currently at... Uh, 14 degrees north, longitude uh, 103.7 west, moving west-northwest at 10 miles per hour. And this general motion is expected to continue for the next few days. Maximum sustained winds have increased to near 70 miles per hour. At the last update at 10 p.m., it was at 40. Now it is 70. This thing is rapidly intensifying. It is expected to become a hurricane uh, by later today and a major hurricane by Monday. So... That's a huge uh, upgrade that we're taking a look at. So, yeah, this is like, like if we're like just 12 hours ago, this was designated a tropical storm. Then at the 4 a.m. advisory, it jumped up to 60 miles per hour. Now it jumped up again to 70, and we're looking at a hurricane strength uh, in the next few hours. So, yeah, this is a this is an interesting situation we're taking a look at. Tropical storm force winds now ex extend 60 miles from the center, and it looks a lot better if you take a look at the cone. It looks a lot um uh, it looks a lot more even than it did because at first the st uh, the winds were just in one small corner. Now they've started to broaden out a bit, so that's an interesting situation we're looking at. Uh, we have uh, we have we're looking at pressures down to 994. It was 1,006, so this thing's dropping at one millibar per hour. So, yeah, everyone needs to pay attention to this. Let's go ahead and take a look at the tracks and the intensity. The track models, same thing as the cone, basically. A couple of models have it deviating more towards the north, but the majority of them have it moving to the west-northwest, to the northwest, into, and then moving to, uh, to the west after, uh, after around 20 to, uh, 21 to 24 degree, uh, degree, uh, degrees north right there. So that's what we're looking at. If we take a look at the global sea temperatures with that, once again, there is plenty of warm water, and there is plenty of weak wind shear for this thing to continue to develop. And if we take a look at the intensity models right here, these are these models are absolutely insane. We're all having it get up to hurricane strength. Some models now have it going up to Category 3 strength, including the National Hurricane uh, Center. Uh, majority of the models now have it going up to Category 2 strength. My estimate for how strong this thing will be, I'm put I'm upping the estimate to 100 to 125 miles per hour considering how fast this thing is intensifying and if we take a look and if we take a look at the cone right here this thing is forecast to become a major hurricane so that's why I'm justifying my estimate as well as if you take a look at these cloud tops and if you look at these storms just everywhere firing off of this these this convection is just firing off everywhere this thing already looks like a hurricane but the winds just aren't there so we're still going to need to take a look and continue to pay attention as time goes on. We're going to have to go uh, to the eight, to the models right here. Let's start with the HMON right here. The HMON has been an interesting run right here. If we can get it to go, uh, to go here we go. The H, uh, okay, this isn't what I wanted. Uh, this isn't what I wanted. This is, this is what, there we go. The HMON right here, this is an interesting development. It already has it as a hurricane in the next, uh, in the next uh, three hours, and then this thing continues to rapidly intensify. It kind of starts slowing down around 984 millibars. It and, yeah, and it does does stack. It does stagnate before slowly weakening uh, at this point. So yeah, the HMON has this thing going up to high end category around high end category one status right here uh, for the uh, for the HMON, which. That's a that's a generally moderate model, like a generally conservative model, actually, considering what we've been seeing recently. Now, if we take a look at the GFS model right here, this is an this is an interesting situation we're ha taking a look at. The GFS has this thing just rapidly intensifying to like a 977 uh, millibar uh, category uh, high end category one uh, hurricane in the next like uh, in the next 24 hours at this point, and then this thing continues to intensify. Eventually, it bottoms out around 967 millibars right here as a as a high end cat two or low end category three hurricane right here according to the GFS. And then this thing kind of stagnates like uh, as usual, and then it starts slowly weakening. So that's the situation we have with uh, with that. So 
The GFS, it, uh, the GFS, if we take a look at the, not that, that, but if we take a look at the intensity models, it kind of has it in this range right here, which is also kind of justifying why I'm going with 100 to 125 miles per hour in my estimate. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the, at the H-Wharf, which is generally the most aggressive model out of the three. Let's go ahead and see what it has to say. This thing has it becoming a hurricane in no time, and it continues to rapidly, and it continues to intensify kind of it bottoms out first, then it continues to slowly intensify, and eventually it bottoms out around 975 millibars as a as likely a low-end Category 2 hurricane, and then it starts stagnating and slowly weakening as these hurricanes do. So that's going to pretty much end the situation right there. I think major hurricane status is possible at this point. Now, if major hurricane status is possible, we're going to have to issue a code orange, which means that we have a major hurricane that's staying out to sea in the next five days. So, yeah, that's just basically the situation we have right here. We're going to go ahead and wrap up the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps me out. It helps me make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. But with that being said, guys, have a wonderful day. Stay safe.